Hey everyone, welcome back to Puzzle Pieces. I'm Miro, and this is Puzzle Agent 2. Um, last episode, we met a chick named Melkorka, I think is what it was. Um, and she helped us uh, orient ourselves as to how many people had gone missing and when, and told us that Davner never really existed, that he faked his own death uh, 16 years ago, I think. And uh, sent us out into the woods to look for her missing lover. And we found an astronaut. And then we saw the hidden people and screamed our way all the way back to her house. And now it is the next day. And uh, I guess we're ready. We gotta go to the lodge to get some answers. Because we saw one of the cult people out here, out there last night. Let's see. It looks like neither of these vehicles have been used in months. How did somebody's gum get on the roof, though? <laughs> no, this is is isn't right. No, this this isn't right. Really, we had to kick the door in. Nelson Tethers, FBI Puzzle Research. I have some questions. No, they aren't hanging curtain. Why is he freaking out? Um... A photo of the Brotherhood in happier times. There's the late Mike Lobb, Isaac Dabner, and Glory Dabner. How many of these people are missing now? The Lodge members practically worship the hidden people. Security cameras at the Scoggins Ice Rink lost their timestamp. Figure out the proper order of these photos. Easy peasy. This is first. Um. Oh, no, wait. This is last because the Zamboni is cleaning. So. The Zamboni. Hmm. Zamboni gets rid of the lines. So this guy makes a line, Zamboni crosses, Zamboni takes that line away, this guy crosses, Zamboni takes that line away, this guy crosses, Zamboni takes that line, mm, no I like this one there better, she comes down, he's fixing that. Hmm. Except that doesn't end with it being super clean. Let's see if. Let's see, he's fixing that line. She comes across, he fixes that line, that guy comes across. Um. Fixing that one, that guy comes. No, that doesn't work either. He takes out that one. Guy makes a new one. Cleans up that one. Guy makes a new one. God, his job is just a circle. He's just stuck in a vicious circle. <laughs> first photo starts before the rink opened with no one on the ice. The second has a set of lines created by one ice skater. Okay, so then it, I guess it has to be this. Um, and then he makes his lines, he cleans it up, he makes his lines, he cleans it up, she makes those lines, he cleans it up, she makes those lines. I think that works, right? Let's try that. 
I was thinking maybe the security camera was running from like midday to end of day, but nice. Okay. All right, let's talk to him. Enough's enough, Bjorn. I demand that you answer my questions. Angry whispers. Brotherhood is broken. Uh oh. No, no. Can't lose more men. Hmm. He's not being evasive. He he's gone insane. Help Nelson regain Bjorn's sanity by shining a light of reason to the core of his brain. Oh man. Synapse sanity core. Avoid the green synapses at all costs. Arrange the mirrors so that the light of reason hits all L-shaped pieces of sanity before finally reaching the blue core of Bjorn's brain. Light entering a piece of sanity will redirect the light by 90 degrees. Okay. So we want it here. Our light's coming in. His eyeballs. Wait. Can't we just... And then it's done? Wait, let me look at the rules. Do we have to hit all the sanity? I think we have to hit all the sanity. It's all, yeah, okay, never mind. Um, so we can go down, and then uh, either one of those is gonna bounce it down into his green thing that we aren't supposed to touch, so we can't do that. Um, we can do this, so it'll bounce around here come down, hit this one, hit that one, and then hit that one. That's kind of good. Um, okay, so let's start here. And then we'll go here. Okay, so that hits that, goes in 90 degrees, comes over here, comes down, bounces up here, slings up, goes in, goes down, in, 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 and we're done. You're gonna be okay, Bjorn. We got you. Thank you, Agent Tethers. You're going to have to explain what's going on. I will try. Um, missing persons. I know you're behind all of the missing person cases in Scoggins. No, that's not true. Then why did I see your man Edvard in the woods last night? He was searching for Shielder. The hell? Another cult, uh, member of the Brotherhood? Oh. Yeah. He went to commune with the hidden people, never returned. Now he is lost. So I wonder if the hidden people are almost trying to protect the townspeople by like kidnapping Davner. They probably had some sort of plan. Like they're trying to get the mass murderer away. Why were you trying to keep me from finding Isaac Davner? He was chosen. The hidden people whispered to him. He had to listen. Where is he now? He is lost, like the others. The hidden people are angered. Okie dokie. How do you talk to the hidden people? I do not. They choose. I have never seen them. Well, you aren't blessed because we've seen them like at least six times. Well. If you're not behind the disappearances, who is? I do not know. You must find them, Agent Tethers. Bring them home. All of them. Shielder, Edvard, Isaac, Olaf. I'll do what I can. Daryl. We need to find Daryl's brother still. What? Who's Olaf? Olaf Velhaven, the first man lost to the forest many years ago. Where was he seen last? 
in his cabin in Sesame Woods. Bjorn insists the Brotherhood isn't behind the disappearances. For some reason, I believe him. I'm relieved they're not trying to kill me, but that only leaves me with one theory. Isaac Davner really is a serial murderer. Bjorn's pointed out the cabin of Olaf Velhoven on my map. Maybe I'll find some leads there. So I'm pretty sure that once we find all these missing people, uh, the population of this town will literally increase by at least double. <laughs> There's so many people missing. Oh man, that's a hell of a shack. Oh. Nelson needs to get into Olav's cabin, but the door is sealed. With only one cut, sever all the barricades on Olav's door. Oh shit. Alright, no chains this time. This one. No. Close, but no cigar. Um, this one. No. This one. That looks like it cuts through everything, I think. Let me double check. This one, 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 this one. Yeah, looks good to me. Nice. On a roll today. The lock on Olaf's cabin was a little tricky. Who or what was he trying to keep out? The hidden people, probably. The cabin seems untouched. I must be the first person here in years. Apparently, Olaf Velhaven had an interest in astronomy. There's got to be something in his journals or equipment that gives a clue to his disappearance. I wonder if he has anything to do with the astronaut. This looks like some kind of mathematical formula. Oh god. Can you figure out the algorithm Olaf created? Probably not. Arrange the mathematical elements in the proper order. Oh lordy. Oops. Uh, it's no Okay. Alright, as long as it's not just me. Let's look for some clues. Um How could one man possibly need this many socks? Got a lot of socks. Oh, is that that's to leave. Okay. This is odd. Move the celestial bodies to the proper position in the cosmos. This large asteroid is in the way, but can end up anywhere? Wait, what? Oh, I see. So they've got shadows about where they're supposed to be. Okay. Okay. So... Oh, man, these are really awkward pieces to try to move. Uh... Where does it... So, this literally starts out with nothing being movable. Okay, wait. We can... Okay. Maybe... Moon, why? <laughs> this is not... This is not going... I mean, I can get the moon there. Somehow we gotta swap the moon and the sun. Um... Can it... Uh... Okay, okay. Alright, we got the asteroid away for a bit. Now we've got to figure out how to swap these two. Like that, there we go. And then this, and then this. Is that? Yeah, that's the only place it can be.
That's it. But what does this have to do with his other research? Looks like Olav was a fan of Galileo. I wonder if Olav moved to the wilderness to better see the stars. Click the center of the circles to rotate them. Arrange the objects so that the suns are on the left, the earths are on the right, and the moons are where the circles overlap. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. Done. I am just top agent all over the place Aha. today. But why would an astronomer come to Scoggins to do his research? Less clouds? I'm, I have no idea. Olaf seems to have been particularly interested in lunar eclipses. Each moon emits a total of 10 lunacy... Lu lunacy watts? <laughs> the wattage is evenly distributed to each lunar ray the moon emits. How many lunacy watts are received by the Earth? Holy shit, wait, what? Each moon emits a total of 10. And the wattage is... Evenly distributed by each ray. Okay, so five and five, right? And the Earth is getting three, so 15. Am I, am I thinking that's too simple? That might have been too simple. Okay, yeah, I, I'm not... Observe not only how many rays the Earth is receiving, but how much power each individual ray is sending. Well, it said it was even. Oh, but he's only sending one. So, like, this is splitting into five and five. This is splitting into five and five. And then this is just straight up ten. So, twenty. And then he's getting five and five. Thirty. And this is getting five and five. 40, 40, okay. There we go, just had to pay a little bit more attention. No longer top agent. Olaf Velhoven kept a record of the time and date of every penumbral eclipse for years. Why was he so interested in lunar eclipses? The hell? Okay. And a cucumber sandwich. Also, I've reached a remarkable breakthrough. A direct link between the phases of the moon and the disorders of the human mind. But seriously, about that sandwich. <laughs> yes, it's so simple. All of the moon's complex energies. Electrical energy in the brain and the lunatic, all interrelated and all reduced to one beautiful, elegant formula. <laughs> Thank you, all of you, a song in celebration. <clears throat> Received the letter today. Imagine the greatest finding in the history of astral psychology, and they claim my research has no scientific merit. But their loss. If NASA ignores my work, perhaps a private investor. NASA? If Olaf Belhaven's journal is to be believed, he made an incredible discovery. He's mathematically solved lunacy. 
What could be causing this headache? Never mind. I've got to get back to Corcus and tell her what I've discovered. What about that formula, though? Um, also, I'd like to know more about that cucumber sandwich. I think that's uh, important. It's some gum. I like how we don't even knock, we just bust in her house. Corka, I was right. This is big. I guess you must have, like, a front entryway. Did you find something at the lodge? It's much bigger than the cult. Bjorn led me to a cabin in the woods where a scientist was investigating something to do with space. Really? I think it's part of some government cover-up. Ooh, a cover-up? Hidden recordings. He'd found something out there. Yes, yes. But after he reported it, he disappeared. And they tried to take me off the case. This could go all the way to the top. The CIA, the NSA, the, the Trilateral Commission. Oh, my. Now I've got proof. I was starting to think I was losing my mind that no one believed me. I believe you now, son. I feel like she's using us. I think you're ready to see this. Oh my god. We don't look ready. Oh, I don't want to know if I... I don't know if I want to see what's in her closet. Huh? Holy shit. Good men like Haldor got too close. They started to find out too much. NSA and the Freemasons had to take them. Shut them up! You can hear it, if you know how to listen. CIA curiosity suppression race. Sounds like whispers in the forest. Oh no, she's crazy. But the astronaut. Astronauts? Charlatans. Don't be so naive, Nelson. Everybody knows Kennedy faked the space race to distract the world from a real breakthrough. The Kihtimat incident. The first viable Bigfoot human hybrid. Oh, Lord. Well, I gotta go. <laughs> Just straight up pieces out. Not sure what to believe anymore. Could I be going as crazy as Korka? Maybe these hidden people really are just a product of my imagination. The only sane person I've spoken to is Dr. Verstecht at the campground. Maybe I should talk to him. I bet he's a closet freak, too. Although he takes notes like we do, so who knows. Let's go pay him a visit. Uh, where was he? The campgrounds, right? Yeah, I think. Got some gum, I see you. That fire pit hasn't been used since the last thaw, assuming this. Oh, that's what we said last time. All right, let's talk to the doc good old doctor. Dr. Verstecht? Alfred, how can I help you, Agent Tethers? Please don't be a closet weirdo. Please don't be a closet weirdo. Have you ever met a local scientist named Ola Velhaven? Once, many years ago. Strange man. Completely obsessed with some mathematical formula to cure psychological disorders. I think he may have found that formula. Did he? Yeah, good for him. You've been in these woods for a while. Have you ever seen any astronauts? Hmm. No, but I have seen the occasional scuba diver stuck in the treetops. 
Really? What? Of course not. That's an urban legend. Okay. What would you say if someone believed he'd actually seen the hidden people? I'd say that believing in the hidden people is absolutely crazy. But then, everything we believe in is crazy. From mathematics to democracy. So, the hidden people don't exist? Well, I never said that. The hidden people most definitely exist. There have been appearances for years, all around town. It's almost as if... Well, as if they're trying to get somewhere, but they're being blocked. I've been able to pinpoint scattered locations of sightings, but I can't find a pattern to them. Oh boy. Here, take a look. Arrange the photos in chronological order. <laughs> They're in space. Uh, okay, well. Um, so. This guy must. F assuming they don't change position much, this guy's kind of tilted. Uh. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay, so this guy is like floating across here. This one is floating this direction. And this one is floating up as well. So it must start with him floating in from the side. He then... Pops a squat there for a second. Hmm, this guy. No, that would be. This guy floats in. And this guy f floats in to meet him. And then they all float away. I think. So he comes in. Stops there. Unless he's floating out of the picture. Wait, he might be floating out. So he floats in. These two float in. Every, everybody floats in. This guy's moving a little bit quicker, so they all con they converge for a second. He floats on up. They all float away. I'm not super positive about that, so let's do this. First eclipse occurs, then the gnomes traveled. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even notice the moon here. Oh shit. Okay. So when the first eclipse occurs, the gnomes travel to Earth. So the moon moves into position. Then they move in. Yeah, if you do it that way, then the, the moon is in the right order as well. So they come in, join up, converge, chill out. Okay. I didn't even consider the moon. It's a good thing I did that hint. Impressive. But I still don't see... Wait a second. This is a list of the dates of penumbral eclipses. Oh, man. Each one corresponds exactly to the emergences of the hidden people. Amazing. Give me a moment. They were just random appearances before, but now that I have a sequence, I can triangulate the exact position of the hidden people's home. What? Okay. We have to go right away. Did he theorize um, that they're cone heads? Now? Right now, while the moon lights our way. Off we go. It must be nearby, Agent Tethers. We just have to follow the map. Do you hear that? Hear what? Alfred? Where did he go? 
Okay, well, uh, we're gonna find Alfred, uh, on the next episode of Puzzle Pieces. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of literally more people in town going bonkers. Every, I feel like that guy Olaf had a point with some lunacy, because this town's nutty. Fucking Bigfoot hybrids. My god. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Puzzle Pieces, and I will see you all next week for another episode of Puzzle Agent 2. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye, guys. Hmm.